Good morning. It is the Big Joe and Laura show on Mix 95.7, Grand Rapids Best Mix. Uh, it doesn't feel like it, at least to me, but we made it to Friday. Oh, my God. It feels like I've gone through five Fridays. I, I envy <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, no. I need it in a bad way. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, uh, well, that's fair. But uh, April 12th, 2024, I'm Big Joe. That's Laura Hardy. And, of course, you at 616-600-0957. You can DM in the Mix 95.7 app. Uh, I believe we're going to talk later on about it. If you got any kind of good news, anything you're celebrating or anything like that, share it with us. We're looking for that kind of good feeling stuff today. I got a couple stories I want to share. You know what's not good this morning? What's that? The wind outside. Did you feel it? It's starting to come. It may not have got you yet. No, I kind of could feel it a little bit, but yesterday in general, it was a little strong. Yeah, well, that and the rain. But yeah, today we're saying uh, we're going to have wind advisories going on for West Michigan oh, until no. about... Uh, 2 a.m. on Saturday. They're saying wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Oh, you know, no big deal. I just uh, hold on to anything that you might be near so you don't blow away. See, I like these kind of things, though, because I don't have much in my backyard, but you never know what could come your way. You're you might like, end up with a free trampoline. You're like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I remember being a kid or anytime there's a big storm, like, did you ever have anything when you were in Kentucky where there was a storm that came through and your stuff just was like gone? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's tornadoes and stuff all the time down there. So, yeah, I mean, there'd be things. I lived on a hill, though, so it was more <laughs> of you'd roll watch down. everything roll down the hill, especially trash day. All the trash cans would end up at the bottom of the neighborhood because they'd all just roll down there slowly <laughs> over time, whether it was wheels up or just kind of like a barrel roll the yeah. whole way down. Uh, well, hopefully that doesn't happen. But just uh, maybe if you get a chance before you head out through and get your day going, if you don't have anything that's secured that should be, consider that because otherwise you might have to go look for it later on in your day. And no one wants to go through their neighbor's yard and be like, hey, can I have my broom back? Thanks. And what, by the way, why do we never have 40 or 50 mile per hour wind gusts when I don't want to rake my leaves? Like, oh, yeah. Where, where are those days at? You know, I, I guess if you have any leaves left over now, they'll be gone. So good news. Something to look forward to. <sighs> also coming up this morning here on the show, we do it again starting at 8 o'clock, 10 times a day, 30 grand in your hand. All you need is to have the Mix 95.7 app downloaded and listen to Laura and I as we give you those codes. Pretty Absolutely. Simple. All right. Well, let's get this going. You ready for a Friday? Yeah, let's let's start it. It's time for Big Joe and Laura's Need to Know News on Mix 95.7. OJ Simpson, the former NFL. NFL star who was acquitted of murdering his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman in 1994 has died at the age of 76 after a battle with colon cancer. That's according to his family. I remember back, it was 1994, so I think I was like eight or nine. I didn't understand what was going on, but I remember watching basketball, I think with my dad and seeing this big police chase on TV. I don't remember watching the police chase, but I do remember my mom had a huge crush on Kato Kalin for some reason. And that's <laughs> okay. all I remember from the trial is her watching it specifically to be able to catch glimpses of him. I'm super excited about this as a resident of the area, and maybe you'll come by my neighborhood sometime soon. But on Tuesday, the Grand Rapids City Commission approved a social district in Alger Heights. Now, if you don't know what a social district is, that means one of the areas of town that you're allowed to get to go drinks and walk around and enjoy them. I love that idea. I love it. It's the area of Eastern Avenue, uh, just south of Alger Street, kind of right there where the Old Goat, Brass Ring, and Sip Coffee and Cocktails are. And all three of those have actually actually already applied to get those to go liquor licenses or whatever they have to do to be able to serve alcohol like that. But this summer, catch me grabbing a beer and then going over to Heights Cream and getting some ice cream and just vibing in my neighborhood. I am so excited. Oh yeah, I'm going to head over to the old goat and get a bubbly brown and just walk around with that with a beer like, oh, so good. I, I can't wait for the text from you and be like, come on down. <laughs> and your final need to know news story takes us to Kansas where the owner of a bakery is asking her customers to eat their cookies carefully. Why? Well, she says she lost her $4,000 diamond from her ring in the dough. I looked down at my hand and the center diamond is gone, banging the bowls and the pans. So we kind of went back to the kitchen and looked around. I was crying and all he could say is, you still have me. I, that made it all better. It's 36 years on this hand, but I would definitely make it worth your while bringing it back. Oh no, absolutely not. I would be so upset if I bit into a, someone else's ring in my cookie. I feel like somebody has already eaten it and it's probably already went through if you know what I'm saying. There's no way you could eat it without noticing it. Yes, you can. It's, I mean, it's not that big of a diamond. I mean, I guess, but I still feel like I would notice something really, really hard in the middle of my cookie that wouldn't think it was a walnut necessarily. I would just think it's a chocolate chip. <laughs> That's your need to know news on Mix 95.7. 
So you know that we have social districts here in Grand Rapids in West Michigan where you can walk around with adult beverages. But what if we had cannabis social districts? Hey, we're Big Joe and Laura at Mix 95.7 Grand Rapids Best Mix. And we were talking earlier in the show about how Alger Heights is now being added as a social district here in uh, Grand Rapids, which I'm excited because I live in that neighborhood. So that means I'll be able to walk around with a little adult bevy and have some ice cream with my kiddo this summer. And I'm kind of excited. Of course they do this when I move out of the neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. When I take over your lease now. It's a, it's a much nicer place. No, it's it's always been a nice place to live. But uh, basically, I, it kind of got us thinking and debating, you know, like uh, we have these social districts all throughout town where you can buy adult beverages and walk around. But there's almost no places that you could buy uh, cannabis or marijuana products and consume those and walk around. And if they're both legal in the same exact way, why don't we have cannabis social districts? 616-600-0957 if you'd like to chime in. I feel I, – I, I don't have a problem with either one of those, honestly, uh, between uh, alcohol or cannabis. It is what it is. Sure. But I'm going to be like a hypocrite, I guess. Uh, for You don't – if I'm drinking alcohol, you don't really smell it. It's not getting on your clothing. When it's cigarette sm- – cigarettes too, whether it's cigarette smoke or – or weed smoke, it kind of, it's it, it's with you. You know what I mean? And I actually kind of like it. Like it smells like a skunk. I, I for whatever reason, like weird smells, but I know sure. a lot of people would not want that smell around there. I have nothing against it. It's just, if it was odorless, maybe. That's my only thing. I can understand your point where you're coming from, but I will, I will back up and say that if you're outside and you're smoking cannabis and you're around people, they're not going to smell like it. That, that's not how it works. Now, same with cigarettes. So if you walk by someone smoking a cigarette, you're not going to catch that on your scent. Now, if you're inside somewhere and it's not ventilated well, I, I've been to many bars in my day that I smelled like a pack of cigarettes and I never once smoked in my life. So I, I get that complaint. But I also think that if it, if you're in an open area, it, it's well designed, it's well placed. Like I'm not saying they should put one of these outside of Van Andel Arena. I don't I don't think that's the answer. But there is a place in Muskegon that just opened. That's a campground or at least some sort of like you know you can take your RV type place, and they're going to now start allowing cannabis smoking there. And I think that's the kind of thing that I would love to see more of because I think it's kind of weird that you know you can get blackout drunk and puke everywhere, no one says anything about it. But the second you want to have a joint and eat some snacks it's suddenly a big deal but they're both equally legal both of them you have to walk into a store show an id buy your thing and leave and if you're not of the age you can't be in the store so why do we treat them so radically different other than a single smell and i would argue that alcohol smells pretty bad have you ever been around somebody that's drank too much they smell terrible i I would say that you have to get really 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 close to smell somebody's terrible alcohol compared to smoking a cigarette or smoking weed that is it just you could you could smell it coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I guess. I, I have I've nothing against them. it, Laura. It's just the, I'm telling you, like they're not the same. You know, I, we want to hear from you six one six six hundred zero nine five seven, or you can send us a DM in the Mix ninety five seven app. Should there be cannabis social districts? We're Big Joe and Laura on Mix ninety five seven. We are Big Joe and Laura here on Mix ninety five seven Grand Rapids Best Mix, and we're talking about whether or not there should be cannabis social districts here in West Michigan or in Michigan in general, because we have these social districts that we're expanding and adding more and more of them every single year, but it's just as legal to smoke cannabis as it is to consume alcohol. So why don't we allow both in public spaces? We would love to hear from you at 616-600-0957, or you can send us a DM inside the Mix 95.7 app, uh, including uh, Robert in Grand Rapids, who said the only issue with, with smoking in public areas is contact buzzes. I understand it's legal and today support that. However, I'm concerned about the smoke and those who choose not to partake having that choice taken away. I'd rather not have my kids getting high because we went to get ice cream. Um, that's actually not true. That's not possible. You can't get a contact high. So anyone that's told you they ever did, unfortunately, is not telling a, a truth. They either did consume or were near or had some themselves in some form. But no, you Even cannot if, like, get a contact Contact even if high. I didn't get a contact, I like same thing with cigarettes. Like that's why I was so happy when they got rid of smoking in restaurants. Yeah. I'm like, listen, you want to do what you want to do. That's cool. It's just like, I don't want to breathe that. I don't want to smell that. Sure. Yeah. But again, I think this would be outside. So you wouldn't be breathing or you still smelling smell it really smoke. that much. You still can smell cigarette smoke. It's, it's not as bad, obviously inside, but sure. in my opinion, it still stinks. Yeah. And then Matt and Coopersfield said, no, they stink up the place anyway. Uh, and then we've also had a couple people who were like, yes, but yes is, you know, that's not that exciting of an answer. They're so smoking right now. Yeah, they're too stoned to think of a good answer. That's fair. It's really early. 
It's time for Big Joe and Laura's Need to Know News on Mix 95.7. You ever look at something and say, I'm going to need more money for this. Meyer Gardens announced their summer concert series for this year, and it may be one of their best lineups yet. Some of the artists you can expect to see include OAR, Jason Mraz, The Wallflowers. I know, Laura, you really like them. I have been wanting to see them for so long. I want to see Blues Traveler, also Boys to Men, Fist in the Tantrum, I'm a big fan of them, and so many more. You can actually get the full list right now in the dates they're going to be performing. Hopefully you'll get those tickets inside our Mix 95.7 app. And if you never financially recover like the two of us, that's okay too. Speaking of awesome artists, Jelly Roll was moved to tears by a contestant on American Idol when she started singing a song about her late father. And we all know Jelly Roll's such a big teddy bear. Here's his interaction with Mia Matthews that made him super emotional. My dad lived just 30 minutes away from here. This is my first time here. He passed away before we were able to come. This place is very special. Daddy! I'm singing Daddy's Hands because my dad, he was a carpenter. He built houses. I remember his hands a lot. I lost my father in 2019. So brave of you to pick that song. Thank you. Thanks for making me cry. Thank you. I hate you. I love you. I love you too. What a sweet guy, man. And that story is just so sad but it's incredible. so sad and incredible. And and if you just saw the video that's gone viral of him and the baby, I'm like, Jelly Roll, just can we have a little bit of you every single day? Because you're truly just a joy. And your final need to know new story, we're going outside for this one. If you're looking for ways to improve your health, you might want to try Fart Walks. Wait, what? Yeah, Fart Walks. Uh, this is the cookbook author on TikTok explaining why you should be taking Fart Walks. About 60 minutes after we've eaten, we put on our running shoes and off we go. Now, why do we do this? Well, we eat a lot of fiber, so we have gas. <laughs> Everybody does. And, uh, yeah, you fart when you walk. So that's why we, I named it that. But the main reason that we do the fart walks is because uh, by walking for as little as two minutes, we usually walk for about 10, 15, 20, but not really quickly. It's more of a moderate walk. Um, we are helping reduce our chances of developing type 2 diabetes. So... Sign yourself up for fart walks. Listen, I take a lot of walks, and maybe they become fart walks sometimes, but I don't think I've ever scheduled one just to go fart. I was going to say, I don't have to schedule them. Unfortunately, they just seem to be happening more and more. (laughs) That's your Need to Know News on Mix 95.7. We want to know what is freaking awesome in your world. Hey, it's Big Joe and Laura on Mix 95.7. This is Freaking Awesome Friday. You can call in at 616-600-0957. If you can't do that, you could also DM us in the Mix 95.7 app. Share with us something that is going good. Maybe a little victory in your life, something that's just finally going right. Laura, what's good for you? What, what's happening? Um, well, this doesn't sound like it's a good thing to start, but last week, a week ago today, actually, my husband lost his job. Suddenly there oh, were layoffs. No. Half the people in his office got fired and it, it was not good, but I, I decided to pivot and I was like, Hey, why don't you, you've been doing your TikTok for a while. You've been making money. Let's see how it goes. Spend a week trying to do everything you can. He made more this week on TikTok than he did in an entire pay period at his last job. See, now that's freaking awesome. That's yeah. great. Yeah, so I, I think it shows that sometimes you got to take that bet on yourself. And sometimes, you know, it's kind of like one of those Bill Gates stories where you get fired from a job and then you suddenly realize like, oh, that job was keeping me from doing the thing I'm supposed to be doing. So I, I think we're really excited about that. We hope that the momentum keeps going. Good for you two to encourage, because I know like I feel like I am very similar to your husband, James, in that way. If I lose a job or even think I might, I just I panic. I close down like, oh, no. Yeah. You're like, dude, rock it. Do your thing. Yeah, you're good at this. Just pivot in. You know, and he hated his old job in a sense that it was he he would give a lot of advice. And they hired him to be an expert and then they would immediately just discount everything he said. And so I'm like, now you can prove that you are the expert. And you're Boom. doing it. So good for you. That's what we're looking for this morning. 616-600-0957. Uh, my freaking awesome Friday has to do with my wife, Lindsay. Uh, she gave me some good news. We've been saving up trying to do our stuff. Uh, we're really trying to just get out of debt. We don't have any credit card debt. We paid that off years ago, but still working on student loans. I didn't go to college, but I have a student loan payment. Ugh. So uh, she said it looks like uh, she's going to uh, tally up our bills and all that, but hopefully by the end of this month, we'll be able to pay off her private student loan. There's still the other big one out there, but to get something off of your back, off of your, you know, just weighing you down, 
That is one of the best feelings ever. Well, and aren't the private ones the ones with the really bad APR generally? I think so. I know all the I interest don't know is for terrible. Sure. Yeah. Like I have a I have a I got a Pell Grant, so I was helped a lot of the way through and I had a state loan and the I mean the APR is still terrible on that, <laughs> but I, I understood that the private loans are generally at least a little bit higher, if not much higher. 616-600-0957. Reagan and Grand Rapids, tell us what's freaking awesome for your Friday. Oh my goodness. We have a craft show coming up at Northview High School tomorrow and Saturday and I'm just really super excited about it. It's been the first one that they've had um since probably a couple years pre COVID and it's just the word has been getting out and we're just super excited about it. Now are you actually making some crafts or is this just something you're gonna help run? I am helping um coordinate it. Ooh, okay. So I get the people to sign up, they come, um, which we have everyone signed up that needs to to be at this point. We don't have any openings, but um, no, we're super excited, super excited about it. Yay. That's great. Hey, thank you so much for sharing that with us this morning. Good luck this weekend. Yes. Thank you so much. So have far. a great day. We appreciate it. Absolutely. And hey, you can share your freaking awesome Friday with us. 616-600-0957. It's time to play Laura Can't Lose on Mix 95.7. Here's how it happens. Laura leaves the room, and we all enjoy the silence for a little bit, and you'll have one minute to answer five questions. You can pass if you need to, and we'll come back if time allows. A tie goes to Laura because, well, her name's on the show. Here's who's playing Laura Can't Lose today. On the phone today, representing Otsego is Jen. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? Hey, can't complain. We're doing pretty good on this jackpot. We've built the Michigan Lottery ticket jackpot up to $40, which is getting close to my all-time high. So I'm feeling a little confident over here, but maybe you'll be able to snag it from me by winning today. Jen, Laura told me that you work at a greenhouse. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. That's what I always wanted to do. It is. It's a lot of fun. I don't get to play as much with the flowers, but I, I do the sales in the, in the main office. Oh, so. cool. Well, that's still great. You at least get to enjoy them nonetheless. Breaks are amazing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this game going. Go ahead and kick Laura out of the studio. All right, Laura, we'll see you in a few. All right, good luck on speed, Jen. Okay, when she exits and that door closes, I will ask you the first question. Question one, what band has the hit song, Mr. Brightside? Um, pass. Question two, who played Batman and Bruce Wayne in the Dark Knight trilogy? Oh, this is not a good thing. <laughs> um, pass. <laughs> question three, who was the leader of the civil rights movement in the 1960s? Oh, Lord. Laura's going to win this one. Go ahead and pass. Question four. What rapper released Get Your Freak On in 2001 and recently announced she's going on tour? Um, is that Missy Elliott? Question number five. She created the TV shows Grey's Anatomy and Scandal. Um, pass. Okay, going back to the first question. What band has the hit song Mr. Brightside? Mr. Brightside, um... Is it the killers? Question two again. Who played Batman and Bruce Wayne in the Dark Knight trilogies? Um, I'm sure this isn't it, but I know George Clooney was one of the Batman, so we'll just say George Clooney. Question three again. Who was the leader of the civil rights movement in the 1960s? Um, let's say... Crap. Um... I'm sorry, pass. I don't know. Okay, we'll skip on that one. And number five again, she created the TV shows Grey's Anatomy and Scandal. And that is at the tip of my tongue. Um, oh, not, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to I'm gonna bring Laura back in. Laura! La, 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 la. All right, she's coming back in here. So I was curious, Jen, how did you get into actually like working with greenhouses? How'd that become a thing? Um, I actually got removed from my job during COVID and um, applied to be in a receptionist at a greenhouse. And they said, no, you should be in sales. So I, I yeah, just happened to find a job during COVID. That's Dang. amazing. And what a cool career jump. I feel like that's got to be yeah. much less stressful than anything you were doing before because everybody likes buying flowers. It, it, yes, it can be less stressful. However, we're at the season where we're like 60 hours a week. So oh, no. Well, hopefully you sell all the flowers to make all the people happy. 
<laughs> right, right. Let's see how Laura does now. Uh, Jenna Natsigo, she got two right. So if you get two right, you tie. Any more than that, you can win today. Here is your first question. What band has the hit song, Mr. Brightside? That is The Killers. Correct. One to one. Question two. Who played Batman and Bruce Wayne in the Dark Knight trilogy? I almost said the wrong, the director's name because it's <laughs> stupid. Um, Christian Bale. That is correct. Yeah. That's a hard yeah. one. Jen, you, she tried. She's like, I know it's not George Clooney, but George Clooney. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, George Clooney's my favorite Batman. Or All right. Will Arnett, if you really want to get into Lego Batman. But <laughs> Laura, you've got a two to one lead. Question three. Who was the leader of the civil rights movement in the 1960s? This is a, a loaded question you're giving me here because there are multiple answers. I'm guessing you're trying to say Martin Luther King Jr. Yes, that's what I was looking for. I was trying to make it super okay. easy. Okay. okay. I was like, I was like, it could be Malcolm X. There could be some other people you could put in there, but I think you're going for MLK Jr. So. I would have been generous, yes. Uh, <laughs> Laura, you're now leading three to one. Question four. What rapper released Get Your Freak On in 2001 and recently announced she's going on tour? She's going to be at Little Caesars Arena. I can't wait. I have to go Missy Elliott. That is correct. Laura, you are now leading the game. Four to two going into question five. She created the TV shows Grey's Anatomy and Scandal. Oh, I have no clue on this one. Shame on you and shame in Jen. I don't like either of those shows. So They're I'm both just gonna, great. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I don't know, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, because she seems to do Stop. everything. No, no. <laughs> the answer we were looking for today was Shonda Rhimes. I don't even know who that yep. is. <laughs> Jen and I kind of did. Yep. All right. Well, Jen, you tried your best. Two's better than none, but uh, Laura wins today, which means our jackpot now goes up to what? 40? $45 for Monday, Dang. which is amazing. Thank you so much for playing with us this morning, Jen. Thanks. Want a shot at that $45 Michigan Lottery jackpot? Then call right now to play Laura Can't Lose. 616-600-0957. That's 616-600-0957. It is the Big Joe and Laura show here on Mix 95.7. Grand Rapids best mix. And you know what? It's one of those situations where I I don't think I'm alone here, but sometimes you just need to let it out. You need to cry. Yeah. So we want to hear from you. 616-600-0957. We're Big Joe and Laura on Mix 95.7. Uh, how do you make yourself cry? Big Joe's kind of been having a hard time. And I'll let you share it in your own words. Yeah, you know what? I, I just recently have had a lot of, like we all do in life, a lot of just negative, sad things. And unfortunately, I, I'm an internalizer. I keep it in. I think this is, I remember like when my dad passed away when I was 21, I didn't cry for like six months later, but when I did, it was like Godzilla coming through town, knocking everything over. Cause I just, I, I felt like I had to be strong. I had to do it. And now I, I'm thankful. I wish my dad was still here, but I, I appreciate it. I can cry at pretty much anything, but right now I just feel like it, it's stuck. Like I got something in my teeth. Like I just, I just want to get it out. And you can't figure out how to find that emotional floss to get that cry out. Yeah. So I'm wondering, <laughs> that is a great analogy. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm wondering what do you do to t- try to make yourself cry? It, it could be a song. It could be a movie. I'm just, I'm looking for something to try. I'm not going to knock it until I try it. Okay. I'll give you my tried and true. I always cry no matter what. There's one episode of the show Scrubs, which has been out for a long time. I know, but there's an episode where basically I don't want to spoiler it. I mean, it's, it is a almost 20 year old show. You can spoil so, it. Okay. Basically uh, there's an episode where uh, somebody gets rabies and, oh, and I know, yeah, it's not fun, but basically somebody gets rabies and, and they try to do, they die. They don't realize the person has rabies and so they do a bunch of organ transplants and so throughout the episode bunch of people are are getting these organs not knowing they have rabies they start to all die one by one in the episode and they start to play the phrase how to save your life and i violently sob every single time i watch this episode of scrubs because it's so cathartic and you can just see the frustration on dr cox's face and jd's face and if you're a fan of the show it really just it i've watched that that scene alone no less than 50 times anytime i need to cry immediately just pull that scene up on youtube as soon as the fray starts i start bawling and i feel a lot better even though it's a complete nonsense thing that i know is going to happen every single time oh okay i think that's a good one 616-600-0957 i believe we got miranda and ionia miranda what is something that can like make you cry i have two go-tos and they're both great okay go ahead Um, The one, if I really need to cry, I'll go on Facebook or TikTok or something, and I will watch videos of soldiers coming home and surprising their loved ones. Oh, my God. Or the dog seeing them for the first time. I violently sob when the dog comes running to the door. Like a baby. Oh, gosh. if I want to make it a little lighter, I watch Big Bang Theory. 
the episode where Sheldon and Amy actually win the Nobel Prize and when it slaps Sheldon. Oh, like that is absolutely amazing. I tear up every time. Those it sounds are, like you're about to tear up right now, Miranda. Saying, those are two really good suggestions, Miranda. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for calling in and sharing that today. That That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Here. How can you make yourself cry or how can Big Joe make himself cry in this case? We want to hear from you at 616-600-0957. We are Big Joe and Laura here on Mix 95.7. And I have just had like a really rough month. I try to be positive. Like for me, and I, I think Laura as well, this show is our happy place. It's our chance to, uh, you know, just ignore all the crap that's going on in life and smile. And yeah. hopefully you get a little bit of smile out of us too. Yeah, but uh, you, Big Joe, have said that you kind of just need to cry. Like it's stuck in there, almost like it's a, a clogged pipe or something. And you know you need to get it out, but you can't find the way to do yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, there's just family drama going on in my life. There's unfortunately several people I know and love have passed away in the past past month. So yeah, I just want to get it out. I don't want to hold it inside and I need some advice. Like what is your go-to? I guess if you're trying to cry, you're trying to let it out. 616-600-0957. Mary in Grand Rapids, what can we try to do here to get a cry? Honestly, I don't think a movie or um, articles or nothing like that. I'd say a great big scream is probably the best suit that you could possibly do because if you have so much emotions build up in you, like I heard you said on the radio that you keep it inside of you, you need to let that out. That is probably the best thing. Mary, to me, you sound like the calmest person in the world that would never even raise their voice. Is that what you do? No, not really. I'm, I'm actually going through something right now in um, my family. My mom is actually in the hospital oh, and I, I let out, I, I let out my cries pretty easily but my mom is actually um just like you she keeps her emotions in but i feel like you need to be in a room by yourself just let every emotion just come out through your body through your soul whatever it is just let it out and i guarantee you probably feel better even if you don't have a cry I guarantee that if you just scream and let everything out, it it just releases everything. Hey, Mary, Aww. if it's too personal, I totally understand. But you know me, I always ask questions. Uh, if you don't mind, like, what's going on with your mom? Uh, she actually had heart surgery, and there was some bumps in the road right now. Oh, no. Um, but but um, she is um, actually um, stabilized right now, but it's a slow progress. But I am getting through each and every day, and the doctors say she she's she's the good, but it's a slow process. So like right now, I'm getting emotional as it is. But I just wish everyone out there who, whether or not, is going through a surgery or not, just just whatever, just let your emotions out, whatever best way you possibly can. But I say just scream to the top of your lungs. Mary, you're amazing. And we're, we're sending love out to you and your mom right now as she goes through that in hopes that it ends up kind of turning around because, you know, that it's hard to have a loved one in the hospital. Been there, done that. It's never fun. Hey, can we just all scream together on three? Okay, ready? Sure. One, one, two, one two, three. Three. Ah! Oh, That's all good. I a lot better now. Thank you, Mary. What Mary, a great suggestion. You, ha- you have an awesome day. We're going to be thinking and praying for your mom, okay? Thank you so much. And I, I want to say that this is a sign that you guys actually brought something out of me today to call you and tell you what's going on in my personal life. But thank you so much. And God bless you both. We all go through tough times in life where, you know what, it'd be great to cry. And unfortunately, right now, I'm struggling to do that. Hey, it's Big Joe and Laura here on Mix 95.7. I've been to like two or three funerals in the past month and just a lot of heavy stuff happening in life. And I want to cry. I want to let it out, but I can't get those tears to start flowing. So I'm curious, 616-600-0957, what do you do to let those tears come out? Tired of holding them inside, Laura. I bottle everything up. Yeah, how can we help Big Joe? Give us a call at 616-600-0957. Dawn and Byron Center, you own a business that is really great. Great for letting out some feelings. Are you trying to suggest that maybe Joe should come do that to to get rid of his bad feelings? I definitely suggest that he should come do that. So for people out there, what do you own? 
I own Break Room Therapy. It's West Michigan's only rage room. It's a safe space to come in and decompress from everything that's holding you down. Um, you can cry, scream, swear, grunt, make as much noise as you want. We have a marker where you can write down things that are making you feel that way. And then you can break glass or electronics by either throwing it to a wall or hitting it on a table or hitting it with a bat or lots of other options that we have. Man, that honestly sounds like what I need right now in my life. <laughs> Dawn, I, it really can be a lot of help. And I'd be happy to help hook you up with this session. All I ask in return is you let give us an honest review of what you thought of it afterwards. Oh my gosh, you need to do this, Joe, because Dawn, I did this before I even was officially on air here at Mix 95.7. I went with my now husband and some friends, and it was the most cathartic, amazing thing in the entire world, just smashing things <laughs> and getting it out of your system. And yep. it just you, even if you don't feel like you're that kind of a... Uh, air quotes violent person it genuinely is the greatest stress reliever in the whole world i'm glad you enjoyed it and yes joe you definitely should come check it out all right don i will contact you and i will have to come out there and break some stuff absolutely sounds good looking forward to it and hey you come along as well awesome don i will come and i'll, I'll uh, <laughs> help him make sure he doesn't break too many things so you don't have to kick him out <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good thank you jess in portland thanks for hanging on hey jess in portland what do you say mm -hmm. what do you think will help out Okay, <clears throat> for a quick cry that touches your heart, it's the kids that are born deaf and they get the cochlear implants and they hear their mom's voice for the first time. Oh, those videos mess me up every time in a good way. <laughs> yeah, that, those ones touch your heart. That'll make you cry. But then for the devastation cry, just watch Armageddon. Oh, with Bruce Willis. <laughs> oh, Jess, two incredible soul shaking suggestions you've given this morning. Yeah, Jess, it sounds yes. like you know what you're talking about. You know how to cry. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm a professional. Oh, Jess, thanks for sharing this morning. And uh, we'll, we'll try both of those out on Big Joe and see if he gets it out. Yay. Okay. Have bye. a good one. Thanks. <laughs> yep. Bye. Mix 95 7, who's this? This is Lindsay, and I'm here with my daughter, Hadley. Oh, Lindsay and Hadley, where are you from? We are from Hudsonville. Do you have any uh, suggestions? I do. So um, we get a little kick out of this. My husband um, sobs his face off when he watches Big Hero 6. Oh, um, really? Oh, that movie gets me every time, Lindsay. <laughs> every time. My husband is a big burly guy with a beard and bald and he sobs his face off he's watched it 65 times i swear and every time it always gets to him so maybe maybe check that one out okay oh well gosh. if he ever wants to have like a mandate maybe we can watch it together and cry listen if you don't yeah. <laughs> if you don't cry over baymax you can't hang out in this house <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Hey, oh, Lindsay and Hadley, thank you so much for calling and sharing that.